guys. Um, so this is the witch's bottle, um, according to me, Bashful Weekend 26. Um, we'll start off with the items that you'll need. Um, to create a successful witch's bottle, you will need a bottle. Um, this bottle I would only use for ones that are meant to be seen or can be seen the inside of the contents too. But a bottle... Um, with the top, lid, uh, screw-on, cork, some sort. Um, so you'll need a bottle. Um, you need some kind of nails or razor or something sharp. You'll also need sea salt, red string, Vinegar. No, you don't need this much vinegar. It's just the vinegar that I have. Black candle. Um, now, depending on the kind of witch's bottle you do, um, if you're doing one for um, drawing in negativity or protection of the home, you will need dirt from the surrounding of the home. Um, and make sure when you collect your dirt that you have good intentions when you're collecting the dirt and give thanks back to the ground with an offering stone since you're taking from the ground. Okay, so um, I will give you a couple examples of witches bottles that I have done. No. Um, this one here is actually one that I done, <laughs> excuse me, that I did for marriage, protection of marriage. Um, and if you can see inside it, there is um, a piece of paper in there. That is the spell that I said as I was filling the bottle with my intent and then saying the spell. Um, symbols that I put on it are for protection. Um, and this one is for protection of marriage, more specifically. Um, and underneath the sealing wax is actually um, a protection on the cork as well. This is just... Um, the heart charm is makes it look pretty, I think. Um, the purple is for my power. And inside, you there is sparkles and different things that resemble love. There are rose petals inside this one. Glitter, sea salt, um, all those kind of things. Um, if anybody wants to know exactly what's in here, just message me. I'll be glad to tell you. This one, I did... Um, know how good you are with your symbols, if my symbols are even good enough to tell. That is the symbol of protection for three children. This one is a protection of my children. More symbols of protection. Again, a symbol of protection on the cork. Cork has been sealed. Um, inside here, there is quite a bit more than there is inside of the protection of love. But since my children live in the home, that I'm protecting. There is also dirt from the surrounding of the home, both my front door and my back door. Um, rose petals, the spell is inside. As you can see, the sea salt, and there is quite a bit of stuff in this bottle, actually. And this one is um, a protection of friendship. This is the symbol of friendship here, two hearts touching, and then we have a protection symbol as well on the cork. You have rose petals, sea salt, all your standard stuff um, inside here as well with the um, spell. Butterfly is a free spirit symbol, and then you have my purple for power, and of course, sealing wax. I did all of these bottles underneath a full moon. Um, this one I did for drawing negativity away from the home, which is actually the bottle example that I'm going to walk you through doing today. If you notice that this one is actually sealed a lot better than the other ones are, and that's because this bottle is, well, a witch's bottle is never to be opened, period. But um, this one is not to be seen inside or opened ever. So um, this actually goes in the back of your cupboard where nobody sees it and it draws the negativity into the bottle. And it's a really good thing to have in your home and depending on how powerful you think the witch's bottle is, is the effectiveness of it. Um, so you fill the bottle halfway with your ingredients. The 
the dirt, the sea salt, the ribbon, the nails. Um, and then you top it off with the vinegar and then you seal it from the black wax from your candle, which is <laughs> why my poor candle looks so funny. Um, this will draw negativity into it and keep it away from the people living in your home. You also want to say words of power when you're creating this bottle because it's very important that you ask the goddess to help you. Um, I said while filling this bottle, may the goddess power my will and help my intent be it good. Um, and then I whispered inside the bottle that I wish it to draw in negativity and keep me and my family safe. So that is a little video on witches bottles, um, which is something I do for my friends and family as well. So if you have any questions, feel free to message me or if you want to know the exact contents of the bottles, let me know. Um, the spells I do per person, so those are private spells, but if you need help with them, I don't have a problem helping you out in that department either. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Blessed be.